Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to um, Korean Atlanta Mentorship. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the number one mistake that I think most people make when, when talking to rich people, right? And I don't think it's a coincident, coincidence, at least on my end, or for me, that, you know, I meet a person once or twice and they're willing to lend me like millions of dollars, right? Like I know, I know an older Korean gentleman, I just met him like first time I met him, he, I, you know, he told me a little bit about myself and he said, oh, he owns like five commercial properties. He's like, yeah, I got like millions of dollars to lend. And then he showed you his smartphone. And I was like, bro, like, I don't even know what to do. Cause I don't have deals where like that would require millions of dollars. Right. And, but my point is, is that most people don't get that opportunity. Even in high school, when I was in high school, um, you know, I had a friend who would take me to Las Vegas to the most exclusive hotels um, for free. And I never paid a dime to, to go there. Like, you know, these are hotels that you can't even find in on, on the Internet. Right. So I think one of the reasons why I was able to do that is because I just didn't make this mistake that I think a lot of people make. Now, I'm not saying that I'm rich, right? But I'm going to kind of talk to you in the way that O.J. Simpson talks about his confession of, of a crime because, you know, he wrote that book, If I if I Did It, right? So it's like the hypothetical, hey, I'm not saying I'm rich, but if I were rich, um, this is probably a mistake that you're making. If, if you did talk to me and you're thinking, like, why don't I care about you, right? So the number one mistake that most people make, in my opinion, when talking to rich people is that they, for some reason, start this adversarial relationship with them, right? You know what I'm talking about? Like, they're, And I'm going to tell you what I mean by this. So a long time ago, um, I saw, I remember watching this American Idol audition, right? American Idol. And there was an auditioner who basically insulted Simon Cowell uh, before starting her audition. And I was like, blown away. Now, I know Simon's kind of bad, right? He, he does, he's famous for the insults. But why would you start off the relationship on a bad foot um, before your audition, right? And again, I'm just saying, I know that Simon kind of deserves it, but you don't, but this is the same attitude that most people have with rich people, right? And I'll just tell you a story of mine that I kind of told in another video where I had a, te a prospective tenant like meet me at a rental house. And then air, all his tone and language was like accus accusatory, like I'm trying to rip him off. Oh my, my, my goodness, there's so many things wrong with this house. I need a $200 discount. And then like he literally wondered why I didn't want to rent to him. Like he was like, what, what, and because here's the funny thing. Next week, someone offered me the whole year's worth of rent up front, right? And so I'm like, huh, who am I going to pick? The person who's just complaining and tell, like you know starting this adversarial relationship with their landlord, or the person who's easy to work with and who gave me a fourteen grand check and sent me a text message, oh my goodness, like we appreciate you. Who am I gonna pick? I'm gonna pick the second one, right? It, it's mind blowingly obvious, but what happens is, and I, I think the media is kind of responsible for this too, because the media always portrays rich people as as bad people, and I always think that even in you know different economic levels there's bad rich people and there's good rich people right now i'm as a self-proclaimed good rich person i actually do want to help people but the biggest thing that i see wanting to help other people is that when i offer them a solution and it costs them money right they 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 talk bad at me like i'm like the worst person in the world now here's what i know about offering things for free right if you don't pay you don't pay attention and even in this video right here, five reasons why the rich avoid the poor. Uh, one of the reasons that he says, like, they're not going to do anything with the information that you give them. So if you don't have any skin in the game in the solution, a.k.a. some of your money or not even a way to like, how do I get the money? Um, you're going to do absolutely nothing. And I know this because I used to give out free juicers to people because I used to be so excited about eating healthy. Like, oh my goodness, I'm going to eat healthy. And I, I want you to do it with me. Look at this. Juicers from Korea. They're so awesome. $300, $400. And you know what? I'll actually even give it to you. Let's do it together. And not a single person did it. I'm the only person who I know who does the juicing, right? And it's not a coincidence that people, when they look at me, it's like, dude, I thought you were much younger than you are. And it's like, 
bro, I got invested in this because when I was effing broke, I would do anything to get my hands on the juicer. And I remember when I went to like uh, Sprouts Farmer's Market and I bought a bag of carrots and it cost $5. That $5 meant the world to me. You know what I mean? But for most of you, you you're not – I'm not saying you personally. I'm just saying in general – um, people get offended that people actually charge money, and the reason why, especially you know, as you get rich and make more money, and you'll understand my point of view when 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 you're there, if you're not already there, is that when people don't pay money, they have no skin in the game, and they're absolutely and do nothing, even if you give them the best advice ever. But then they act like you're trying to scam them, right? But here's the thing: when people don't pay, they don't pay attention, right? So let me just kind of reiterate. Let me reiterate, the number one mistake that most people make is that when they're talking to a rich person, they always start off this weird adversary relationship like the rich person is trying to rip them off. Like in the in the very beginning of the conversation, right? And then guess what the rich person is going to do, aka, I'm not saying it's me, but it's probably me because I paid off my mortgage under three years. I'm not going to take you seriously because I'm going to work with the, the actual other rich person I can serve and make a lot of money, not the poor person. Right? There's a reason why there's these videos about, you know, the rich avoiding the poor. Because we don't want to deal with that stupid nonsense. Right? So don't make that mistake. Be a cool person. Right? Just be cool. Like, if you're cool, and even if you don't have the money, but you got the attitude, that itself is much more valuable than money. You know how, how, you know how many people that I've met in the past, let's say, five years... Or it's like, whoa, that person, even though that person doesn't have any money, that person's got the attitude. I think I've only met one. I'm not going to lie. Everyone else is just like belligerent and, 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 you know, full of whiny excuses and they don't do like what they say they're going to do. I'm just like, okay, I guess I'll just uh, stare at my paid off 30 year mortgage in the three years while everyone else tells me they're struggling. And then when I talk about like, hey, let's work on this together and learn and grow together. All they do is just like treat me with suspicion and wonder why I don't want to work with them, right? All right, well, that's it for today. So, all right, Korean Atlanta Mentorship. And, uh, man, I'm so hungry. In fact, I'm just cooking my uh, – I just had a lot of juice, organic juice, and cooking my organic meals because now um, I'm rich and I can afford it. Or am I rich? No, maybe – I'm just saying if I were rich. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, have a great day, and uh, we will speak next time.